So here on the Xander Budnick YouTube channel, we're all about that hook set. Ah! We're all about that trophy fishing. <gasps> we're all about that backcountry angling. I lost it. <laughs> and I know I'm the best, but it gets lonely at the top. That's why this trip I've set myself a challenge. Instead of using a traditional spinning fishing rod, I'm gonna be using a fly fishing rod. I've never used one of these before, but I've watched a handful of YouTube channels, so I think I got the gist of it. I got a delicious meal prep for tonight, but tomorrow the goal is to catch and eat a fish on the fly fishing rod. All right, it's getting pretty late. I'm pretty hungry. Gotta get a fire going, get the food on. Tent set up, water going, because I want all that done before it gets dark because I feel like the bugs are gonna be pretty bad tonight. The bugs are coming. Run! Chicken's done. All right, two of these are for tomorrow. I guess I'll take that one and that one. Onion, tomato, arugula, and uh, some sauce I made at home. It's mayo, sriracha, Dijon mustard, paprika, garlic powder. I mean, those do look pretty damn good. That'll do. It's awesome. This sandwich is, this is, this is really good. Come on, Xander. Good morning, everyone. Looks like a nice day.
Pancake. Bacon. Egg. And we maple syrup it. And then we pancake it. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. Every bite is a new adventure. Oh, maybe this side's better. This thing is outrageous. Woo! Yeah, so right. today I'm gonna to be using a fly fishing rod and the difference between a fly fishing rod the biggest difference between a fly fishing rod and a traditional spinning rod is that on a spinning rod you use the weight of the lure to cast out and gain distance, whereas with a fly fishing rod the lures are actually quite weightless and you have to use the line, it's a special type of line that's weighted and use the line itself to gain that distance. Not a ton of advantages to fly fishing. Uh, I think one of the biggest ones is that in particular situations when the fish are very stubborn, uh, a fly lure, which is weightless, can resemble the type of flies, the type of hatch that is current in that area. Say there's like a big hatch of black flies or, or uh, horse flies. You get a lure that's, that resembles that hatch and they're weightless and you can splay one out for one of those fish and they're more, more likely to grab one of those than um, say like a weighted spinning lure. But for me, bass fishing here on a lake. I'm guessing there are very few uh, advantages to uh, to fly fishing out here. This is just gonna be a fun thing to do and a, a fun challenge. I'm excited, look at this thing, cool. Got my fly in here. I have this net, I'm just gonna toss this in here. That'll be my anchor. That'll do. Anchor away. Let's start with a whole bunch of this line. Whoa, we got a bite. <laughs> oh, come on. We <laughs> okay, so we're going to catch something today. <laughs> That's cheating. That's so funny. I had a fish on. I didn't hook it though. Oh god. All right. Let's try this again. Yeah, we got like three feet out there. Come on. <laughs> oh god, this is pathetic. I'm gonna get this. Maybe not today, but one day. Oh yeah, we did it. Oh my God, oh my God, yes. I actually casted that like fairly well. It didn't go far, but I casted it. And we got ourselves our first fish on the fly lure. You know what, the cast was pretty pathetic, but I did it correctly and I splayed it out correctly and we got ourselves a bass. We're gonna let this guy go. Nice, mission accomplished. A little bassy, hey, we got a bassy, woo! Yes, that felt pretty good. I'm sure that from a canoe, this is much harder. I'm getting bites in the, the most pathetic, like in the most pathetic ways. There's no skill here. This is all luck. I'm trying to just get a little spot of paint on the wall, okay? The snap of the wrist, or we're gonna refer to it at some point here as kind of a microsecond wrist snap. It's really not much more than opening a screen door. It's really that easy, friends. This is really pathetic. All right, I'm gonna take a break. I feel like it'll be extremely satisfying once I get it to think that I could come out here after watching a couple of videos. No, no chance. 
I'm gonna keep trying maybe later today, but for now I'm just gonna pick up my spinning rod and try to gain back some confidence because uh, yeah, I've been trying that for the last hour and um, honestly, I'm not getting any closer. Did catch a fish though. Did catch a fish. <laughs> Little itty bitty bassy. Fly fishing is a lot like snowboarding. You watch other people do it and you think, hey, that looks easy. Then you go to try it and you just keep on catching edges and falling on your face. Fish. Hey, a little bassy. Oh, later, nerd. I'm gonna head back to camp and uh, take a little break and then reassess. swim. So originally I was planning to do the chicken sandwiches last night, pancake sandwiches this morning, then the two remaining chicken breasts for lunch today, and then I was gonna do a fish fry tonight. But because that breakfast was just absolutely so massive, it's like five o'clock right now and I still haven't even eaten lunch. I still have those two chicken breasts, so if I were to catch a fish tonight, those chicken breasts would probably go bad, which would be uh, kind of a disservice to that chicken. So instead, I'm just gonna finish off those chicken breasts tonight, not gonna do a fish fry on this trip. I'm still gonna go fishing after dinner and just do catch and release. Save that, uh, save that fish fry for another video. Get some more wood. Get a fire going. Oh, cool. This is chaga. Look at these woodpecker holes right here. That's interesting. But yeah, this is chaga. This is a fungus. Uh, you shave it off and make it in a tea, and it's supposed to have antioxidant properties and uh, amongst other things. But yeah, this piece of chaga right there. Too many bugs. Smell good. Let's go breeches. Like already melted. Honey mustard. <laughs> yeah. It was really good. And the chicken lasted, which is good. Man, I'm still full for breakfast, I swear. Uh, this wasn't my idea, by the way. This was my brother Dylan's idea. Shout out to Dylan. Hey, buddy. That was so good. I could eat a second. I'm gonna call that good. You know when something seems like a good idea at a time until it's done and you realize it was an awful idea? You know, like hitting that jump on your bike when you were a kid? That's what this fly fishing experiment was. Let's see if we can catch ourselves some bass.
Yo, that was like 30 feet. It's all about making sure you flick at the end. Slow flick. Go. Just get a little spot of paint on the wall. Come on. Oh, we had a bite. That was a bite. Nice. The fish over there, I can catch it. Oh, that was a good cast. My best cast yet. Oh, baby. Did we? No. No, we didn't. I thought we got one. Oh, we did. Oh, we did get one. He's just caught in the weeds. Oh, yes. Nice. No. Oh, we had one too. Oh, dang. We just got all caught up in the weeds. That was such a good cast too. Woo. Getting it. All right, last cast then. Uh, got to go in. It's getting late. Bugs are going to be out soon. Oh my God, that was like 40 feet. Something bite it, come on. Definitely wouldn't say I got it, but I got better. They're starting to get it. Good morning. How y'all doing today? I'm doing good. Check for this. Oh. Coffee is that one thing that just ignites my heart. Well, there's many things, but it's one of the things that ignites my heart. Crash goal. Maple syrup. That'll do. I love the rain. No, I wouldn't want it all the time, but it's comforting.
So I'm all packed up and heading on out. Great little two-nighter here, base camping in, in this neck of the woods. That was a lot of fun trying to fly fish. Obviously, I got a lot of learning to do, and I'm sure I'm doing it completely wrong, but I feel like getting out again last night, I was a little better, a little better. I'm sure if I come out a couple more times and get a couple thousand dollars in lessons, I'll have it in the bag, you know? <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.